Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, calculate uh, percentile scores in SPSS. And um, that's literally true in the sense that I'm going to show you how to actually calculate them in the uh, transform calculator. But I'm also going to show uh, two other ways that uh, percentile scores can be obtained in SPSS. One of them is not totally informative uh, or not giving the full range of percentile scores, so it's not the best way to do it, or it might not suit your needs. So the example I've got here for data are salary data going from 15,750 all the way down, all the way up to 135,000, I believe. 135,000 so with a sample size of 474. So what if I wanted percentile scores associated with each of these salary uh, points, data points? Well, one way you can get some information on percentiles is to go into Descriptives, Explore, put your variable in the dependent list, and then click Statistics, and click Percentiles. And I'm going to unclick Descriptives just because I want to keep it uh, simple. And I'm also going to only click on Statistics because that's all I want to see. I don't want to see any uh, graphs. So here are the percentiles associated with the um, analysis that are outputted by SPSS um, in the automated way. So we can see that the 50th percentile, of course, or the a salary of 28,800 corresponds to the 50th percentile. So 50% uh, of uh, the sample uh, have a, a salary equal to or less than $28,800 dollars a year. And another example is the 90th percentile. We've got um, $59,700. So 90% um, of the sample ha have a salary of 59700 or less. Uh, so the vast majority of people, uh, the overwhelming majority of people, earn less than $60,000 in this, uh, in this um, sample. So what if we wanted every uh, point for the uh, percentile map? So not just 5, 10, 25, 50, 75, 90, 95. What if we wanted more than that? Well, you can get that by actually calculating it in the, in the uh, transform compute variable. And uh, it's just a really basic formula, and I'll uh, percentile score, I'll create that. All you have to do is subtract, ah, oh, I forgot the first step, sorry about that, I got, jumped ahead myself. First, you have to, you can, it's up to you, you can sort your data first, I usually do, just to check that the ranking worked. So the first step you have to do is actually you need to rank uh, cases, and that's actually going to create a new variable with ranks in it. So just put your variable into variables, and that's all you have to do, and click on OK. And that creates a rank from lowest, rank number one for the lowest salary, and a rank of 474 for the highest salary. Now I'm going to transform those ranks into uh, percentiles. And what I need to do is go into uh, compute, and I'm going to call it percentile score, or salary score. And I put the ranking variable that I just created into the into the numeric expression, and then I subtract five, 0.5 from that. All right, so you have to subtract 0.5 from the ranking scores, and then you divide by the total sample, which is 474, and then you need to multiply that by 100. Okay, and I'm going to put these into parentheses just to make sure that the order of operation works. Alright, so it's literally the ranking scores that you just created from that uh, ranking that you've got from the ranking